Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Railway Shed. Today, we'll be looking at this Hornby Railways Special Edition Terrier No. 44 Fulham. This model is our 2605 London Brighton South Coast Railway 060 Terrier Class A1X No. 44 Fulham. My model, being number 472, of a special edition of 1,200 of these models. I picked up this model for roughly £50 at a model shop a few years ago. And I would definitely say it's one of my favourite engines I own. It has amazing performance as you'll see later. So without any further ado, let's take a deep dive into this engine. The locomotive is packed in the old polystyrene Hornby packaging. It also contains a detail pack to make the engine more aligned to its other appearances throughout history. The box also comes with its manual and a pullout depicting the side view of the locomotive. Take a closer look at the engine. I would say this engine is definitely one of the most detailed in my collection. The engine is lightened out in the improved engine green of the London Brighton and South Coast Railway. The engine also has many plastic fittings on top of its boiler as well as tanks, including water tanks as well as steam pipes and various others. The locomotive's smoke box is painted out with metal hinges as well as a metal smoke box dart. It also has a vacuum brake on it. Here you can see the printed detail of the number 44. The locomotive has a cream roof which may come across as white within the video as well as a coal bunker with moulded detail coal. It also has a toolbox present on its rear end. This engine does not however have sprung buffers. Now we've taken a brief overview of the engine, let's test its performance. Here we are down on the layout. Let's test this engine's performance. Firstly, in forwards. I'll have to admit the controller I use for this outer line is a bit jerky. That is an absolutely amazing crawl. Probably one of the best crawlers I've got. It's a bit of a speed increase. A thing to mention about these older Terriers, as well as the new ones, I'm not 100% sure, but they are geared to be shunting engines, so are great at low speeds. Let's go in reverse. So overall, great detail, great performance, 
and a generally amazing engine. I would like to thank all of you for putting up with me while I haven't been uploading as much recently. I've had a lot going on in my life, as well as a lot going on down the shed. I'm hoping to get a video out next week at the London Festival of Railway Modelling, which I will be attending, hopefully. So if you recognise my voice, feel free to come and say hello. So, let's get this lovely engine hooked up to a train and have a little running session. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, 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 uh.